Hi guys, hope everyone's well. Today I thought I would make a video on how to do a handstand press. So this is from the floor, not a full stoner press from straddle, um, from the, but from the floor to handstand position. These are different exercises that I think are really beneficial. So I made a video a while ago, but it was kind of like whizzing through different exercises. So I thought I'd make it a little bit slower today um, and do kind of an explanation as I go along. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you do. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go with training. The first exercise I'm doing is straddle lowers. So this is working on hip mobility because in your straddle press to handstand, you need to make sure that you are able to get into a good straddle fold position. So not only does it work mobility, it's also working on compression. Keeping the back straight, the arms by the shoulders as if you're in a handstand and lowering the chest down to the ground. It's a hinge at the hip. Next we're going to go on to a pike, straddle to the ground and then we're reversing it. So you're trying to keep your feet as close to the ground as you can. Coming through that press position, again we're really focusing on compression in this exercise. So I am suggesting 5 to 10 repetitions. Then we're going to move on to straddle leg lifts. So this really focuses on hip strength. It's quite a difficult position. The further forward your hands are, the more difficult it's going to make it for yourself. You want to try and keep the palms flat on the ground, chest up, and you're going to do 10 on each side. Again, you can do multiple sets of these. Now we're going to move on to handstand floats in the straddle position. So simply you're putting all the weight through the front of the shoulders and you're just trying to float the legs off the ground. So you're maintaining a good upper body position, legs are floating. And then we're going to do the same, a bit more difficult, with piked legs, so feet together. So all the weights are going over the shoulders and you're floating the feet off the ground. So obviously a, float, a handstand press is a float all the way up. Then we're going to do it with the feet raised and we're coming into that L position and we're going into walks. So walking the feet into the hands, pushing up for the shoulders and then back into a plank. This is really focusing on building up shoulder strength and also getting used to that proprioception response of where the body should be in the air in your handstand position. Now we're going to move into L-shaped shrugs. So walking into that same L-shape and we're shrugging the shoulders up and down. Again, this is focusing on shoulder position, shoulder strength. And you can do this for not just your handstand press, but also your handstand alignment. Next, we're going to move on to a press with the head lent against the wall. This makes it quite a lot easier. So you've kind of got that head to leverage and make it easier to drift the feet or legs up to the air. And I'll suggest doing a couple of sets of five repetitions of this. Then I'm just going to move the hands a little bit closer to the wall and do exactly the same. So I'm kind of using my head to lift the legs off. So it's still a press but it's just an easier version because I'm using the wall. Lastly I'm going to move into swing throughs. So this is quite a difficult exercise if you don't have the mobility but again we're focusing on that compression in the straddle press to handstand. You might not be able to get all the way flat to the ground, um, obviously I am flexible so I can do that. And then lastly I'm going to get into a really good press so you can see my feet are starting close to the hands, my legs just drift up, nice and easy, and then coming down. And now I'm going to demo a bad press. So this is where the head's stuck out, the shoulders are coming too far forwards, you're arching the back and it makes it really difficult for yourself, so you don't want to do that. I'm just going to do one more good press. So feet starting close to the hands, keeping that good upper body position. Hope you guys enjoyed that video um, and maybe you took something away from it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And comment below if you want other videos like this, other tutorials on like, different handstand or flexibility related things. And I will see you for my next video tomorrow.